Happening right now, Salinas City leaders are meeting with people who have been parking oversized vehicles and RVs around town. This happening a day before the city council is expected to take up an ordinance that, if passed, could run them out of town. Action News reporter Sierra Starks live at Salina City Hall with more. Yeah, good evening, Dan. So if that ordinance is passed, it would basically prohibit those RVs and those oversized vehicles from parking on places like city streets, alleys, public parking lots, things like that. But not everyone is happy with having the problem pushed around from town to town, hence tonight's meeting. So there were about a dozen oversized vehicles and RVs parked on Griffin Street this afternoon. And according to the city and the proposed ordinance, there have been complaints of trash left, waste and wastewater coming from those RVs and going into the storm drains. And nearby businesses aren't happy either. But the people living in those RVs are shedding a light on a bigger issue within Monterey County, and that is homelessness. Now, Salinas City Councilman Tony Barrera says he wants to sit down with them tonight, give them a chance to express their views and see if they can't start to put some solutions on the table before tomorrow's city council meeting. It would be very sad to displace hardworking people that are in a situation that they, they're just, it's a temporary thing for them. We don't want to make their life even more miserable. But then we have the other element, just like I went over there on Griffin Street right now. There's a couple of RVs that are spilling a lot of oil, you know, and I spoke to a couple of people and they just want to be left alone, but we can't do that. We're responsible for the seat. Now, because most of the folks um, parked here in Salinas now did come from Lapis Road, Councilman Barrera did invite uh, Mayor Bruce Delgado from Marina here to tonight's meeting. We don't know yet if he is here. We can tell you that Supervisor Jane Parker is here. Um, and that some of the folks from the former Lapis Road community are here as well. We'll have more for you tonight at 11. Dan. All right, Sierra, thank you. If the city council does approve the parking ordinance tomorrow, it would take effect in 30 days. <laughs>